Hi, this is Ian Wong, you guys can call me Philip, the team leader of Yo-Yo Friends, and today we're going to review the Not Creator Ice Wolf. Now, Ice Wolf, uh, Not Creator, generally is made by one of my uh, very nice Yo-Yo friend, uh, Josh E. We met each other at 2015 BAC, also 2016 BAC, and 2016 Nationals. He put me in all his videos. I don't know why, because I'm a rubbish player, or trash player, whatever, um, but very nice of him to put me in his videos. Very uh, thankful for that. Uh, not greater, pretty cool company too. Uh, yeah, uh, let's get into the review. Uh, Josh E, of course, you know, 5A player, 5A monster. So I, I believe this is uh, made for not only 1A, but also 5A in mind. Okay, so let's let's go. Uh, uh, firstly, the spec of this video right now. Okay, so first look at this video, it's very interesting looking it's a little bit of a V in the middle and then very just kind of H shape going on uh, so you know H state H shape videos are very stable so I would feel this video is very stable too um, the walls are pretty nice and the rings are rainbow colored and uh, very nice fade going on here you know uh, pink on one side and then gray on the other very nice logo and pretty catchable too the the diameter of the is fairly average and the width is a little bit above average I would say Okay, so also a thing I noticed is SS ring. It's pretty tiny. Uh, it's not only thin, but also very uh, narrow too. You know, the cognition is very narrow, but uh, I mean, sorry, the cognition is very thin, but it's very wide. It's it's very wide SS ring, and you know, the ray tracer, you know, the it's as little as you know this uh, ring, but it's very thick and just a lot more volume going on. So I don't know how that will affect, you know, the, the you know, maybe like it's already very, you know, H-shaped out, very stable already. He doesn't need too much, you know, SS ring, uh, SS weight or the density on the outside of the, you know. Okay, so let's get into the performance. The first thing is smoothness, as it is right now, it is 9 out of 10 smooth. But, you know, I, I need to skip this section because I didn't get the A grade of this. I got it from uh, somebody else, you know, I bought it from, you know, second-handed. So, uh, in that case, when this happens, I will not re re review the smoothness. But my oil is 9 out of 10 smooth right now, so I don't think it will affect too much, you know, performance on the other, uh, you know. Very, uh, doesn't affect too much, you know, on stream point. Okay, speed on this oil. Speed of this video, I would say it's medium paced. This video's got a lot of stability for that speed, but uh, it's quite big and powerful, I would say. A uh, little bit sluggish going on, I don't know why. Uh, definitely, I feel a lot of center weight too, and the yield doesn't quite want to move with you for speed players like me. I kind of want to hesitate a little bit, and definitely, like, you know, it could be super fast, um, you know, giving it stability wise, but you know, the, the body just wants to fight you a little bit, so it's actually medium paced and a tiny bit of sluggish there. Uh, that's the speed. A uh, power of this video, it's, it feels super powerful, very stable on the plane. Uh, it can probably do one minute, you know, freeze down, no problem, or pre them. Uh, it, it just overall feels very, very powerful, you know, that's what I expect. And you know, SS rings and a very big. Heavier and you know H shape going on, uh, so power very nice. Uh, stability of the soil is something really amazing. Uh, super stable, I guess that's what you require in 5A because you want the yield to absolutely stay in play, and you know you got all that catchability. So in 5A situations, this will be optimal, and um, yeah, it, it's definitely super duper stable. Uh, one of the perks of being a very wide you know H shape. And uh, you know, even though it has a tiny access ring, it's definitely you know super stable. Flow of this yo yo, it's um, how do I say this? The flow of this yo yo is very interesting. It doesn't have too much of a you know bimetal flow of this yo yo, or kind of you know uh, 
distribution going on. I'd say the distribution is very even, but it, it gives that kind of a monotone flow. It, it, it's somewhere between sluggish and um, just very solid. It, it doesn't want to move around too fast. And I, I guess that's you know another thing for Fife. You don't want the yo to move around too much. And uh, you want the yo to stay in one place where the string is going all crazy around it. But in one A play, it's definitely not, uh, it doesn't want to move quite uh, well. Like, I have to very, very go for my tricks in order for it to, uh, to go to the trajectory and direction I want it to go to. And uh, this yo, once again, feels very, very solid. Not that much float going on. You just feel solidness and power. Um, so yeah, that is the flow and floatiness of the yo-yo. But I know this yo is very good. I am, I don't have that much trouble in KD normal. It binds fine. Uh, KD fat binds perfect. And KD XL binds awesome too. Also KD XXL, I think I'm gonna assume will be pretty good. So I would recommend anything from KD fat to KD XXL or any strings, uh, you know, around there. You're good to go. The the pads are very nice. It, it, it binds decently. Very snappy binds. Very good there. Uh, okay. Horizontals. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Horizontal on this yo yo, it's, it's kind of a reluctant mover. It's got the power and stability going in horizontal, but in horizontal, you need to have the yo yo to carry you with some of the momentum. So, this is why most of the yo yo that are a little bit faster are very good at horizontal because it has that momentum and speediness to zip across and to have that force, center, centrifugal, whatever center pedal force, to overcome the gravity of tilting downwards. And this you know, like a little bit sluggish to move and it doesn't have that much flow going on and speed uh, definitely wants to go down you know with the gravity and you have to really you know fight against it a little bit in horizontal and uh, you can't override it with your speed because that's just too hard for me uh, probably too hard for most of us anyways but uh, I think what you need to do is go with the flow a little bit and be confident and I think you can pull it off uh, decently but uh, I would say horizontal this year is about average uh, in that department. Okay, so now the grinds and stuff. The, the finish of this yo-yo is not quite as smooth as, you know, uh, you know the yo-yo's I reviewed before, like, you know, the cadence and the, and the, and the cogs and, you know, the, the ray tracer. That thing is super smooth. Uh, it's a little bit... It's... A little bit not like quite as smooth, it's a little bit more not chalky, but a little more resistance going on when you go like this. But you know, once this year is spinning, since it's very powerful, you can do finger grinds no problem. Uh, very nice, very catchable. So, yeah, that department is very good. Um, once again, very nice rose gold colorways when it's spinning, very cool. Uh, thumb grinds, very clever design, just like the ray tracer. Your, your thumbnails are not touching too much of the SS ring. Uh, it's mainly touching the, the aluminum part, and aluminum is kind of big blasted, I would say. So it's very, very, very nice uh, feeling. Way better than uh, SS rings, definitely. So thumb grind, very good there. I uh, definitely can do them. Finger spin, uh, since there's a giant engraving in the middle, but it does have a little, a little bit of a guiding system around, and when your fingers throw around, it definitely helps you a little bit. So, hop combos. Oh god, it just doesn't want to move that fast. Okay, the hop combos are, I would say, decent, and it definitely can pull some, you know, very short amount of finger spin time. So, yeah. Okay, uh, so what I recommend this is definitely, yeah, I, I can see this more of a 5A yo because it doesn't want to move that much. Uh, I would say 5A yo sometimes you don't want the yo to move that much, you want the string to do all the work and the, the dice and stuff going around. But I'm not a 5A expert so I can't quote you on that. Uh, but for 1A, uh, this video feels super powerful, solid. Uh, it doesn't quite feel like a bimetal, it just feels like a super powerful monometal yo um, it's very solid feeling. It's a tiny bit sluggish and doesn't have that much flow and floatiness. 
but super super stable and uh, pretty powerful. So I, I guess if you are a player who really enjoy heavier, you know, very stable, powerful yo-yo, but don't want to go that fast, uh, you just want to have a very solid yo-yo uh, at a medium to tiny bit below medium pace. Uh, this yo, yo is definitely for you. If you're a fast player, a horizontal player, uh, who really like you know zippiness of the yo, yo and also the the flow of the yo, yo or flowiness of the yo, yo um, I, I don't quite recommend this. Yo -yo. It is kind of reluctant to remove a little bit of a time, and you really have to push this yo, -yo in order for it to move uh, very very uh, like you know a little bit more speed. And would you want? Okay. So that is my review of the Knot Crater Ice Wolf. I do not know what I'm going to review next. Uh, probably the Sink, which is coming on Tuesday. Um, but I also have a bunch of other yo-yos, you know, Duncan throws and Yo Empire throws coming. And yeah. All right, see you guys next time.